we can easily add some presets to our type inside of After Effects. We can go to the File menu and choose Browse and Bridge, and I already have mine open. And you'll find in the Presets folder the text options. And by the way, to see what I have here, make sure that you're on the film strip mode of the of view. And what I can do is in this, I can click on one of these guys and get a preview as to what I might want to apply to my text. I have Broadway, Bubble Pulse. Let's move over here and see what's over here. Overlay, double exposure or pulse exposure. All kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to double click on Broadway and that should apply it and it did. I'll go ahead and scrub and it's awesome on Broadway. Pretty cool. Another way we can add presets, especially for time effects like a, a, a ticking effect with a, a, a countdown or matrix kind of text is to go to the effects panel and you'll see that we have in this list a text category. We have two here. We have numbers and time code. I'm going to grab the time code and just throw, uh, throw it up here and show you what happens. Okay, so I'm going to throw in my text. I missed it a little bit. Let me try it again. There we go. And we have the time code that appears right here. When I scrub, you'll see that the time will move as I move my current time indicator. I can change my display format easily by going to my effects panel and changing it to frame numbers feet and frames, and more. And once again, as I scrub, the numbers change. I can change the text color. There we go. Another cool thing I could do is use the numbers. I'll drag the numbers over here as well. And then a numbers dialog box appears asking you to choose a font and a style, if applicable. Don't forget, all fonts don't have a style. I'll go ahead and choose Center and OK. And now I have a whole new option here in my effects for numbers. So I can change the type to number to time. I can change the size by scrubbing here. I can change the color by clicking on this swatch. And I can enable something called random values, which is kind of cool. I'll click here and watch what happens when I scrub. So we have these random values that occur. I could even twirl some of these guys open and change the decimal places. I can change the offset for the value of the numbers. And I can even change the position by using these sliders here. So as you can see, there are quite a few different ways to work with text inside of After Effects. Whether you're working with the Adobe Bridge and the presets, or whether you're working with the numbers and timecode.